Everyone, some mother's boy. That's what's engraved on the headstone of the unidentified teen. He was hit by a train in Georgetown, Kentucky in 1921, and clues show that he lived a privileged life and a link to Cincinnati. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us about the effort to find his family after 96 years. The people of Georgetown took up a collection to bury the brown-haired, blue-eyed boy around 17 years old with a headstone naming him some mother's boy. If you're a mother or even a father, I mean, just a parent, to uh, spend your whole life wondering where is my baby, where's my child, I, I can't imagine. The teenager came out from under a boxcar at the Georgetown Depot one April night in 1921. He ran to catch a slow-moving passenger train on another track and was hit. He got there riding the rails on Southern Railway's Royal Palm passenger train out of Cincinnati that traveled between Midwest cities to Jacksonville, Florida. In 1921, the local newspaper referred to the teenager as well-bred because he had tailored clothes on with monogrammed buttons, a watch with two engravings, and even a laundry tag that said Jones. The watch was engraved with a W-A on the back. Inside, the timepiece was engraved L-H-D. We don't think he was riding the rails in the traditional sense of the hobos. He was well-dressed, he had a, a watch, he, had, uh, he was well-kept, well-groomed. Not that someone like that deserves more attention, but someone like that, someone is more likely to be missing him. Forensic anthropologist Emily Craig works special projects for NamUs, the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. The exhumation is about getting a DNA profile and possibly finding a relative in the DNA database. A tooth found in the grave will help. Now his mother and father will obviously be passed away just simply because of the time it's gone by. But he could have nieces, nephews, he could have cousins. There's other, and his mother and father are buried somewhere. And my goal is to get him back with his parents. The FBI has agreed to pay for DNA testing, and there are other options. This guy is a missing leaf off of a family tree, so if we don't find it in the traditional CODIS type of DNA, we could approach Ancestry.com. We have a lot of people that we could reach out to in this. Was he a runaway, going to Florida on spring break, or riding the rails for adventure? One thing is certain, he's some mother's boy and it's time for him to go home. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Details about this unidentified young man and 12,000 other missing in America are in NamUs. The public can go to the website to look for a missing relative, and we have it posted on local12.com, as well as the number of a regional contact. It is under the Get It Now links.